So in this video, I'm gonna run through my top 10 beginners running tips. These tips also help you to run off a belly fat. As a trainer with over 25 years experience, for five years I worked as the official Race for Life fitness expert designing the running plans, which were 5K running plans and 10K running plans, which were designed for complete beginners and I helped millions get round those races. So let's start with the first one. Okay, so tip one is invest in good running shoes. And it's a good idea, do some research on the internet and find a good sports shop that you can go to that they can analyse what your foot strike is. And also because some of us have a medium arch, high arch, then what they can do is find the right running shoe for you. So it's definitely, if you're serious about running, it's always worth investing in good running shoes. It's not so much about the brand, it's what feels comfortable and is the right fit for you. So the next tip is so important and this was one of the ones that I swear is where I got so many amazing results from women falling in love with running. It is simply walk it then run it. You know don't try and run straight away. It's all about slowly building it up and it's doing these little intervals. So do little bursts where it might be you do one minute walk then one minute run and just keep changing that and that's how you can fall in love with running really quickly. And then the next tip is swap the miles for minutes. Just focus on minutes. Don't worry about how many miles you're doing. Definitely within the first few weeks when you're learning to run. Um, in my book, I do it all where it's based on time and not miles. So just focus. You know, if you can go out and you can run three minutes after week one, that's amazing. Then the next week, it's four or five minutes. And the week after that, it's 10 minutes. And trust me, when you can run for 10 minutes, you are then a runner. So then the next one is always make sure you keep yourself fully hydrated. Don't just wait until you're thirsty to drink and also always make sure you take water out with you when you run. And the other thing is if you're wanting to run off belly fat, then don't forget as well, when you are hydrated, your body burns more calories. And the other great thing with water is it also gives you so much more energy. So just make sure you always keep yourself fully hydrated is and this is I promise you this is the exciting one the quickest way to become a runner and lose belly fat is by doing HIIT training it's not all just about running you've got to mix it up and HIIT training I have got hundreds of videos I mean literally we're talking hundreds on my YouTube channel just my four minute ones which is what I use in my running book and this is the quickest way to really increase your strength your fitness your endurance and burn off belly fat so definitely do HIIT training it's where we do these multi-compound moves where you do a 20 second burst of working harder than 10 seconds recovery. Super simple, suits every fitness level. HIT is a must. Next one, which is so important, you know what, whether you want to run, walk, skip, hop, whatever, we should all be focusing on eating a well-balanced diet. And this includes things like carbohydrates. Everyone or so many people write to me and say, oh, but aren't carbohydrates bad for us? Not at all. Not if you eat the good, clean stuff like brown bread, pastas, whole grain, because they're essential for our energy. Then we need protein. That helps our body repair. We need fats. That's really important. You know, but again, it's a good fat like avocado, nuts, oils, we need fiber, we also need vitamins and minerals. So it's so essential we have all those macronutrients and micronutrients within a healthy, well-balanced diet tip is don't just hit the hard stuff as in like running on the roads, pavements, concretes, mix it up, go for different terrains, running on sand, running through woodland, it's just a really good way because it works slightly different muscle groups, you work your stabilizers but also what's really good is you're not going to be putting as much impact as you do if you're running on a harder surface so always if you can try and find softer ground to run on. Always make sure as well that you do your post-run stretches. This helps to relieve any soreness, but most importantly, this will help increase your flexibility, which just means it makes it easier when you run next time. And this also then helps prevent any injuries. And then don't forget, it's really important to fuel up before you run. So have like a really healthy little snack. This is a really good one here where you just have a small banana, just slice it into little pieces and just put on a little bit of cream cheese. And then I've just got crushed hazelnuts and a little bit of cinnamon powder. And that just really helps stabilize your blood sugar. So it just means it gives you energy. And also don't forget to have a post-workout run snack as well.
And then finally, if you really want to become a runner and lose belly fat, then remember the two most important things are you have to, as well as running, you have to focus on doing the HIIT training because that is going to, one, it's going to increase your cardiovascular health. It's going to increase your running, your speed, endurance. It's going to tick off everything fitness-wise. It's also going to burn off belly fat. And then you want to focus on the clean eating because eating the right food is the perfect fuel to make running really easy for you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions about running or if you want any advice on how to lose belly fat just um, let me know in the comments down below if you're not already then definitely subscribe to my channel if you like this video or you know someone else that wants to learn to run or lose weight then definitely share and tell them about it and then all this information was taken from my running book which is available for instant download from my website lwrfitness.com and in that there is a 21 day healthy eating plan I set you a um, a training program. Each week we cover HIIT training, we do interval training, there's lots of tips on running, how to make it feel easier, we talk about breathing, kit, everything to running, FAQs and literally everything you need to know about running is in there. So I'll leave a link to that down below as well in the description box.